Hello everybody. Uh, today I'm doing um, a little bit of a project here in my cabinets and I wanted to do it for my neighbor because he might do the same thing. Uh, but then I decided why not publish it and maybe some other people can um, take advantage of this. So it's about uh, taking this off and painting the cabinets. So if you want to know how to do it, uh, stay. This is gonna be just a one take, no edit, straight to YouTube. You gotta, uh, you're gonna need a, a heating gun like this. And basically, what you're gonna do first, you gotta play some jazz <laughs> when you're a record so a player, you know. Some nice uh, listening to uh, music choice. You can do it on the, on the slow, or you can go a little higher. When you have a lot of coffee, <laughs> I'm already making my third coffee over there. So this is gonna kinda like start uh, melt, kinda like melting and peeling off. And uh, the best way is, I think is just take the, the edges first and then you go here and, 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 and I don't know if you can see that but it starts to uh, come off and you just have to be patient because if you pull it too hard you might damage this and let me tell you this is also not good for your health that smells really bad so it would be a good idea to have a mask and uh, do it in an, an open place. And uh, the other thing I was going to tell you is that uh, you're going to need one of these. And this is an old one, but I changed the battery on this one. It's three, vol three volts, which is like, now they have 18 volts. So that tells you this is like 10 years old. But anyway, um, sorry about the mess here. What you need to do is be careful, very careful, because if you drop this, you're gonna damage it. Um, let me see how I can. End up. So you take this off, you take this off, you take that off, and the last one, if if you have somebody to hold hold this, it would be better. And uh, and this you take off. And. Uh, well, you're gonna need, you're gonna, when you have it down, you take that um, cover, you know, off, and then you, you're gonna need a good primer because then that glue is kind of like uh, really gooey and, and stays there. And you, let me tell you, you won't have a very smooth finish. It, this is not gonna be, but uh, it's gonna be like this. It's gonna look. A little bit, you know, you have to go with the roller here and the brush here, and uh, it will be, you know, it will be okay. At least it looks better when you. See, this is this is the one side done already, and uh, you can still see a little bit of the glue, you know, the texture is a little, but once you have them all. It's okay. You can also, if you want, you have you can have to clean them well. You know, you have to you would have to take off all the glue, and you're gonna take a it's gonna take a lot of paper, paper towels or something, and because you cannot put any water on those, um, you're gonna damage it too. It's just like particle board. This is really, but at least you know the way I have it now. If like something happened here, you see this. And my wife uh, hit it and it, it just chipped but now I just come with the paint and I do a retouch or if you have stains or something you just sand it again and paint it if you want it smooth you gotta sand a lot you gotta sand and paint and paint and paint but you're never gonna get like a spray finish uh, you know I'm just telling you so I just left them like that and I think they look good my wife is happy so um, so, Laroi.
if you want to do it, just start because it takes a long time. And just make sure you don't drop it, like I said, and uh, that's it. That's all you need to do.